Okay, Peter Muldoon, guitarist, vocalist for Pavilion. Um, cheers for having a chat with Crank and myself. I really appreciate it, man, and congratulations on your latest and debut EP, the six track Age of Fear. Um, I really appreciate you having a chat with me, man. I know we done a written interview thingy last year on the debut single, the Hellfire track, dude, which was a really cool track, man. That was stuck in my head for days, man. Hellfire. Still there, man. So congratulations on it all, dude. How you been? Yeah, good, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, any... no, it's been... Yeah, it's been good. No, that's good. How How was the run of the Hellfire shows and everything, dude? And, um... How, how's everything been with you, man? Yeah, all good here. Um, yeah, the Hellfire show is good fun. We got to go down to Sydney and Newcastle, so that was a, that was a good experience. You know, got to hang with the boys and um, a lot of good bands down there, like Code Atlantic, things like that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it was just a lot of fun, you know. It was really good to get down there. Yeah, so, man, and um, you played with Lagerstein too, was it? When they done the, um, the Endless Rum yeah. tour, I think it was. That's the one, yeah. I played with those guys at the trip. It, that was awesome. That was, yeah, really happy to uh, play there. Um, awesome venue. So, yeah, stoked that we could have been a part of that. Yeah, definitely. That would have been a blast, eh? Yeah, a good night. Yeah, killer, man. So, um, the Age of Fear um, debut EP come out on the 16th, man. Can you tell us a little bit about your um, how you approach a songwriting for this? Because I know um, you talked a little bit about Hellfire, but and you said you were working on this. Um uh, these songs, dude, so it's obviously something you and um, Michael used to have been working on for a while. You said you just met up, similar interests, and you started tracking down a bass player and a drummer and that. So were these songs that you'd had for a while planning to go with Pavilion, or is this...? Uh, a couple, yes, um, and a couple, no. So the, the, there's some, uh, truth I'm told, Age of Fear um, and Hellfire, they sort of all sort of came about organically, you know, Michael and I jamming out. Um, sharing ideas and things like that. Um, so they came together that way. Um, and the others were sort of things that um, I sort of had in the bag for a few years, didn't really know what to do with them. Um, and then once we kicked off Pavilion, sort of like, yeah, you know, that's that's going to work for this. So sort of bring them on in and um, build on from there, you know, and uh, get everyone else collaborating on it. And, um, yeah, so that's that's how it sort of goes. So, yeah. Yeah. Where'd you record the album? And who'd you work with for producing it? Yeah, it was Gareth Hargraves, um, and it was at my old studio, uh, Eddie Till Arcadia Recording Studios. So, good thing about that was, you know, we, we had no time restrictions. We could sort of take our time and, um, you know, make sure we get it right. So, that was good. We spent a, a week or so in, in the studio, pretty much 24-7, and, uh, yeah, just laid it all down and had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. Did so. you did you record that when you um done the Hellfire one? Did you kind of have all these ready to go and kind of just wanted to drip it out a little bit, drop the Hellfire one up, get everyone get everyone kind of into what Pavilion's got to show and then go from there or? Yeah, no, no it's spot on. Um, with Hellfire, it's, um, it's the heaviest track we've got and we sort of wanted to put that out there just to sort of put feelers out and see what sort of response we'd get. Yeah. Um, and it was a response. Um, they were all recorded at the same time. We had the EP already in a package, but we sort of yeah, had the sit down and said, you know, let's, Let's release Hellfire as a single, uh, see how that goes. Yeah. And um, depending on how that all went, we'll see if we uh, release the others. And so, yeah, threw them all on, uh, all six of them onto an EP, and um, it's finally out. So, it's yeah. long time. Uh, <laughs> Have you got a favourite track out. off the album? And one you're most proud What's of? What's that, mate? Have you got a favourite track or one you're most proud of off the EP? Well, oh, yeah, it's a hard. It's like trying to pick a favourite child, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, so favourite song for me would probably have to be Battlefield. Yeah. There's something about that song. It's, it's a nice song. It's cool. <laughs> I, I just, I love it. And Michael's solo at the end there, it's like a two minute long uh, epic guitar solo and it just, it's cool, man. It's, you know, um, proudest would probably have to be Hellfire, um, yep. especially me personally from more of a rock background. Um, that was a challenge. Um and, and I reckon you did a pretty good job, you know, at, at delivering something more on the metal side. Yeah. So, yeah, really proud of that, personally, yeah. Uh, that's a killer EP, man. I want to go back, right back, dude, because I was reading the interview that I'd done with you today. went through that. I shared it up, dude, and I, Michael and you um, answered some questions for me. And we're talking – I've talked to a few people since then, done a few interviews – 
And they've talked about guitar and they started guitar and this is on um, the same for you. You said you started guitar first back, I think, electric guitar you got on your 14th birthday roughly. I think it was something it was like fun. that. Yeah, and you um, started playing guitar first and um, you said you took picked up singing later on down the track. How did that come about? Was that just um, you get stuck with it? Look, I've got to get some vocals to this. No one else is going to sing along to my songs. Or how did you get into that? Well, you picked it. You picked it. Um, <laughs> no, no. We, um, we had originally intended on uh, getting a vocalist on board. Um, and we weren't getting the right feel. You know, we, we had something in, in our minds uh, and we just it, it was hard to get it across, you know, and, and um, it was we couldn't find the right fit, I think, and uh, in the end, <laughs> we sort of got a bit desperate. So I sort of thought, you know, um, with Michael's support, of course, uh, sort of jumped on the mic and gave it a go. And he said, "Hey, that actually sounds pretty good." It, so it does. It stuck. And you're glad um, you've done it now. Yeah. I? <laughs> Turned out really well. I bet you're nah. really glad you've done it now and picked that up because I've talked to a lot of guys that. Um, in your same position that have been like playing guitars, guitars and guitarists and then they've just picked up vocals along the way kind of like there you go you're singing now but it kind of seems a good fit because you're there you're writing the melodies and the riffs for the song and kind of feels like you, you guys know the songs best anyway you and Michael have been working together how long he's been working together oh wow well, oh, four or five years now I think yep. like it's, yeah it's been a while um, so yeah it's it's been in works uh, for a while, so um, yeah, uh, it's good, good to get it out. Yep, and you're uh, going to have some shows, no doubt, coming up with all of this? Nothing planned yet, nothing. but um, yeah, focusing on the uh, release for now, sort of seeing how that goes as well with the other five tracks, um, you know, being a mix of sort of the heavy, the metal, the rock, and just see see where it goes, really, um, see what songs are popular, see what people like, and sort of make a few decisions from there as to... Um, how we how we do shows, how we tour, um, and things like that, and then of course working into what comes next to probably be an album, um, yeah, another EP, and you know it's, it'll sort of feed off into what how we write that. So yeah, really um, really keen to get what people think and um, what sort of feedback we can get. So yeah. yeah, well I dare say he's have a fair bit of material sitting there if he's been playing together for the last four or five years. It's just put out this EP, give them a bit of a taste, I suppose, in 2021 or, I suppose, into 2020 and have a look at an album maybe, eh, or...? Yeah, yeah, no, that's it. That's exactly right, yeah, so... Yep. I'm just tasty, those, and, um, yeah, yep. uh, it sounds like a pretty good time for me, so... <laughs> yeah, I'd be it, happy with that. Exactly. He's definitely in a good scene there in Brisbane as well. So you're up and based in Brisbane. There's a lot of good bands up there in Brisbane. So are you based in the, the Brisbane area there, or...? Yeah, based in Brisbane. Yep. yep. So, um, Brisbane uh, Lab. Side. Yeah, whereabouts in Brisbane are you from? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Strathpine myself. Um, yeah, I'm and from then, Redcliffe. Uh, so, are you Redcliffe? Yeah, nice. I was born down at the Redcliffe <laughs> Hospital, man. I moved down here back when I was about 15, 16. I uh, went back for a bit of a, um, a school reunion a few years ago, which was pretty fun, so. No, it's a beautiful cool. area, beautiful area, good place for live music as well as some great bands like yourselves and loads of up-and-coming new bands like Pavilion uh, coming through up in the Brisbane scene. It's a really, really healthy scene there, so it's a good thing to be a part of. Eh? Yeah. No, it's awesome, yeah, it's great at the moment. There's so much new talent coming up and, yeah, there's a real sense of community here as well, you know, like, um, it just, it's really cool, you know, so I'm so, like, stoked to be a part of it. So, yeah, yeah it's exciting, exciting yeah. times. No worries. Uh, same thing on uh, film clip. You got any film clips coming up soon? Or are you just waiting to see which tracks kind of hit first off the EP, kind of, and then go from there and see which one people are digging, and then kind of work from there. Yeah, that's no, spot on. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, we'll see um, see how people react, and you know, see what is uh, deemed worthy uh, film clip. <laughs> exactly. Well, if everyone runs out there and gets a copy, man, cranks that up, that would be really cool, man. Where's the best place to get it? All the digital outlets you got it? You, I've noticed you got your webpage there, so I'll put all the links and that up, but where's the best place to buy the album? You suppose you got them up everywhere, eh? Or... Yeah, that's it. So um, all the, you know, good streaming services um, for the online downloads, um, and we've got hard copies as well, so you can get them from our online store through the website. 
and merch shirts buy merch support the band yeah buy merch yeah buy merch <laughs> buy albums and check out pavilion and check out age of fear no worries pete thank you so much man for having a chat with me dude i appreciate it man no worries man absolute uh, legend bye. cheers mate bye.